Today, I'd like to show you how to solder in just five easy steps. Let's get going. So what is soldering anyway? Well, soldering is actually just the joining of two metals with a third. In this example, your first metal is the component itself. So in this case, it's a resistor. The second metal is your PCB. For this demo, we'll be soldering the Dr. Duino Explorer together. The third metal is the solder itself, which will join those first two together. Step one, apply the soldering tip to both pieces of metal at the same time, where metal one is the metal of your component and metal two is the metal of the PCB itself. Step two is to wait about two seconds or so with the heat applied to both metals. This will allow for both metals to heat up uniformly and allow the solder to adhere much more effectively. Step three, apply the solder from the opposite side of where the soldering iron tip actually is. Now this is really very important. Since solder wants to flow to the source of wherever the heat is, it will naturally fill any voids and provide for both a solid electrical and mechanical connection all at once. Doing it this way guarantees you a full solder joint, which is totally secure. Step four is to simply remove the application of the solder itself. And finally, step five is to just keep the iron on just for another second or so, and then remove the iron from the soldering application entirely. You'll want to try to avoid blowing on it to cool it down. Just allow it to cool off naturally. I'm going to do two demonstrations here, and we're going to show you how to solder these two joints here. The first one up here we're going to do pretty slow, and then the second one down there we'll do in real time. So step one is to attach the heat of the iron to both your component and the PCB at the same time. Step two is to wait a count of two Mississippi, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Step three is to inject the solder just enough to cover the space. Step four is to remove the solder. Step five is to let that sit for another second and remove. So we'll do this one in real time. And remember that when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that when you hit, hit with the solder, you're coming in from the opposite side. You never wanna come in from this side because the solder uh, won't actually flow to the joint correctly you want to always come from the opposite side. So here is uh, this joint in real time. And that's it, two perfectly soldered joints. So here's an example of what I see as a common problem when people are soldering. A lot of times they'll come way up here and put this giant blob just like that. And you'll notice that in that blob, it's actually not even uh, fully soldered the hole. So if we turn this a bit, you see how all the way around, it's, it's not very It's not very uniform, and the, the pad itself is also not fully covered. So this is actually a, a really terrible soldering connection and will fail over time because in fact uh, it's not actually stuck together uh, at the microscopic level. So remember when you're soldering you always want to make sure that you're applying the heat to both pieces of metal at the same time and applying the solder from the opposite direction. And that will give you a much better soldering connection. And if we, if we look at these two in conjunction, so if we look at that soldering job there on the left, as compared to that soldering job on the right, you'll see it's a much better connection.
Every time you're complete with soldering, what you'll want to do is tip the end of your soldering iron so that that way you preserve it from getting oxidized and this will allow your tip to last for years to come. For a complete list of tools that you saw in this video, please visit drduino.com backslash tools.